The seemingly endless stream of trucks rolling into the Surrey transfer station is tangible evidence that we produce a lot of garbage. Almost a million tons of it every year. And a lot of it comes from our kitchens. Food either in the form of scraps or food that was purchased and never used. Metro Vancouver ordered a waste audit to find out how much residential food waste is ending up in the landfill instead of being composted or used to create biofuel. See some overpurchased bread here. Metro Vancouver it does this type of study to increase uh, its own awareness of what is going into the waste stream to try and help plan some of our diversion programs, some of our education programs. Awareness is, is a big start. We want to use that awareness and that information to change behavior, change habits of people. It's a dirty job. The auditors take random samples from garbage trucks carrying residential trash. Then they painstakingly sort what they find into separate categories and weigh the results. Almost 40% of the, the waste stream from single-family homes is made up of food waste of some type. If you look at what we think is the avoidable food waste, it works out to about 22 kilos per person per year. That means 12.7% of what we throw away is food that should never have been purchased in the first place. Municipalities save money in their collection costs and tipping fees. In Port Coquitlam, we've been able to save about $186,000 a year by just shifting our garbage patterns from solid waste to green waste. The unopened box of salad in this dumpster is typical of the kind of food that never gets used and inevitably ends up in the landfill. It's so much cheaper and better just to buy the head of lettuce than the plastic box that contains the lettuce that doesn't store it properly in your fridge. So, you know, we have to think about what we're buying and why we're buying it. And sometimes it's about convenience and we all live busy lives, but we got to think of the bigger picture when we're buying our food as well. The fact that we see so much avoidable food waste definitely suggests that people are often buying more food than they can really eat possibly because some retailers are selling them in, in very large quantities packaged together. And we also see that a lot of the food has simply been kept past its expiry and as a result people just throw it out. In this society we have an abundance of available food and it starts with just having more of an awareness of how much you're buying and, and what you actually need. When you throw something away and you put it to the curb, it, it doesn't just end at the curb. I mean, there's a whole process around collecting it and bringing it to these transfer stations and disposing it in a proper way. People need to be aware of that. It actually starts with your purchasing habits, how you buy things, what type of materials you buy, are they recyclable, do you need all the excess packaging. It's not just the food that we're throwing out, but all the energy and fuel that it took to make that apple or that food truck it to the store, buy it, take it home, leave it in a fridge for a while, and then throw it out unused. So there's a lot of environmental effects beyond just throwing the apple out. In fact, it's estimated that the massive volumes of water used to grow food that isn't eaten is equivalent to leaving the tap running and pouring four trillion liters of water right down the drain. Something to think about before your next trip to the grocery store.